Hello Spruce Court families and welcome to Spruce Court Public School. My name is Jim Stephopoulos, principal at the school. This is the uh, main entrance to our school and it's only meant to be used if your child is running late or if you're picking up a bit early. You'll need to buzz to get in. Um, all other doors are locked as is this one and we ask that when entering the school you complete, complete a COVID-19 screening, sanitize, and the expectation is that everyone in the school, staff, students, and anyone entering wears a mask. This is our main office at the school. Our office administrator is Ms. Denoda. Our secretary is Donna Cameron. This is Raj, our office admin. This is our vice principal, Ms. Han. Welcome to our library. This is a new space in the school that was added about seven years ago when we added grades seven and eight. And as you can see, our library is an amazing place to learn, to research. Um, it's well stocked um, with resources for staff and books uh, for students. A great place um, just to chill out and enjoy a great book. This is our kindergarten division at Spruce Court. We have three kindergarten classrooms, all with early childhood educators, um, and we have a special education kindergarten diagnostic classroom as well. As you can see, um, we try our best to space out students. Um, in some classes we have single desks. Um, in other classes we have tables that are shared between students. Again, all safety measures are being taken. Um, just wanted you to see as well some of the work that our kindergarten uh, students do um, based around inquiry. Um, and again, it's early literacy skills that they're working on, social skills, play skills. Um, just a view of what's, uh, what's in some of the classrooms. This is Mr. Anderson, newest addition to our kindergarten team. Um, he's working with a student uh, on some reading instruction. Here we have our gymnasium, again, uh, added on to the school about seven years ago when we added grades seven and eight to the school. As you can see, it's an incredible gymnasium, um, beautiful hardwood floors, six hydraulic basketball nets, um, well stocked in terms of equipment, um, a, a stage for concerts, um, and this also doubles as our lunchroom. Unfortunately, right now, because of COVID, um, one class is in, is in here at a time, and any time there's a transfer between classrooms, all items are sanitized. Bruce Court, we have two grade one, two splits and a straight grade three. This is the hallway to the uh, to the primary division. Just some of the work that our grade ones and twos do. Um, we're at the early stages of literacy. This is in one of the classrooms. Um, it's Gavigan's classroom who teaches grade one, two. Um, again, just a visual of what the class looks like so you can get a sense. Uh, down the hallway, we continue into, um, we're going to continue into Ms. Ferreira's class. Just again, more artwork um, from the students in the class. Uh, again, safety-wise, uh, as per COVID um, protocols, students are spaced out as best as possible, always wearing masks in the class along with the teacher wearing a mask. Peace Garden is a partnership that we have with uh, the folks at Green Thumbs. Um, some great uh, learning going on in this uh, area. And over to the left is our, um, just outside our kindergarten area, and we're looking to uh, enclose this area and make an outdoor classroom. So hopefully we'll have more information about uh, the fence going up soon. So in our junior division at Spruce Court, we have a 4-5, a grade 4-5, and a grade 5-6. This is the uh, junior hallway. Um, again, you can see the hallway separated down the middle. Students are expected to walk on the right. Um, here's some, some of the work from our grade 5-6 classroom with a heavy emphasis on social justice and equity. Um, this is in one of, uh, this is in Ms. Ball's classroom. Uh, and she's doing some work with students um, using the tools of integrative thinking from the Rotman School of Business um, with her students. As I mentioned earlier, we added grades 7 and 8 to Spruce Court uh, about seven years ago. So this is our intermediate division. We have a 6, 7, and a 7 and 8. 
um, students get lockers in these grades. However, because of COVID, um, lockers have uh, are not to be used until further notice. Um, just a, a view of of the classroom. Um, this is Miss LeMay's classroom. Quite a nice large classroom, and again, um, desks are spaced out. They're usually students are working in pairs or or in teams of four, but again, that's not the case right now. Our outdoor space at Spruce Court is just gorgeous. This is what many families will uh, will when they'll enter the school off of Spruce Street. This is our intermediate uh, entrance. Uh, kindergarten area is over here and this area is sectioned off and there's three entrances into this area one for Miss Denoy's class one for Mr. Anderson's class and one for Miss Hens's class and so students meet um, in the different areas of the yard um, teachers pick up teachers and ECDs pick up and bring the students inside this is a phys ed class taking place outside in our field um, trying to encourage outdoor uh, phys ed as much as possible. Um, wonderful playscape and as you know our yard is sectioned off into four zones and there are two classes per zone um, during recess uh, and lunch time as well. Lunch is eaten in the classroom supervised by the teacher and then from 11.45 to about 12.40 students are outside for outdoor playtime. Grades 1 to 6s um, enter through two different doors these are the doors that our grades 1 to 3s use. They line up uh, in lines, are picked up by the teacher, brought in inside. Um, this is the door for the 4s uh, to 6s entering the school. Water fill station uh, at the school is where we fill up water bottles. Water fountains are not to be used during COVID, so we ask your, that your child bring a reusable water to, bottle to the school. As I mentioned earlier, don't forget uh, sanitizing when you can't wa not wash your hands. Always wear a mask, and if you're feeling at all sick, please, please, please stay home. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to any of the staff at Spruce Court Public School.